Cancer, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, Check out my husband. You will absolutely love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. But without further ado, let's dive right in. We have the Seven of Swords coming forward and the Hierophant. Universe is saying right now, it's time for you to really get clear about what you want. There, I feel like your spirit has really been coming through and speaking to you at this time, Cancer. And now is the time to really listen because I'm telling you, that's going to be the evolution you're looking for. And with this Hierophant card, it's also letting me know that it might be time to seek out a mentor or a guide of some sort so that you can see how it is. Like a lot of the times when we feel stuck on our journey, it's because we're just not quite sure what way to go next. And whenever we seek out a mentor or have somebody that's doing it in a way that we would really resonate with or we would like to emulate, then it's important to grab onto that person and start to copy mimic. Not copy and mimic in a way that you exactly copy them, but, but, but is, what are their behaviors? Behaviors. How do they represent themselves? What are they saying? What are their lessons? And then make it your own. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of life is that life is about learning from others and then making it your own from your own experiences. And the universe is saying when you start to take knowledge from those that you love and those that you admire and those that you respect, and then you start to maybe take notes and then start to marinate it with your own experiences, that's when you start to become more fulfilled. You start to really evolve because that's what evolution is, is learning and then making it your own and then you evolve and that's when you evolve that's when you feel this level of fulfillment and that fulfillment is what attracts new beginnings entering your life and I can see here that there's a new beginning here for you cancer so you've got nothing to worry about bringing forward all of your desires here with that three of wands so now is just the really the energy of waiting for them to flow into your life and the art of waiting is the art of waiting with patience but us humans, we get impatient so in our time of waiting and not feeling like you know, impatient, because when we do feel impatient, it's like sending off an energy to the universe, saying to the universe, I'm not happy with the way things are. I'll be happy when I get that. And it will, bl waiting to get happy until that new thing comes into our life, it won't flow into our life fast enough. We want it right now. We want things today, right? So in order for things to happen sooner than later, we have to be really happy with how things are going. And the only way we will be happy is if we strategize our life so that we're constantly learning and constantly evolving something, right? Not, not, you know, sitting back and thinking, well, I'll just wait till tomorrow or I'll just wait till things feel better. Or, mm, I'll tell you some cancer. It's never going to feel good. You're never going to be ready. You're never going to be ready. That's really the, the thing. And especially as empaths, we never feel ready. I don't know about you, but I would be, I would be happy with the rest of my life meditating in a forest with my pets, with my dogs. That sounds great. But the thing is, is it's not realistic, right? We have to take action. We do got to do practical things and we got to take action on what it is that we want. And the best part is, is that whatever it is that we feel like we want most and we're resisting is actually our salvation. And that's what my guides and angels told me last night. They're like, fear is an illusion and behind it is your salvation. And so now is the time to really look at your fear in the face, what you want most, and know that beyond that is who you're truly meant to become. And I can see here that there are a lot of new opportunities literally beyond the veil for you. Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. I mean, these are opportunities with a lot of prosperity attached to them. Okay, a lot of abundance, a lot of fulfillment, and most importantly, a lot of joy and happiness. So this is going to be very, very exciting. Universe is saying with the Knight of Pentacles, though, right now the, the only thing that matters is that you stay per, uh, uh, persistent on that that desire. Stay resilient. Right? Again, remember, remind yourself of your why. You know, it's very easy for us to slip into an, an easier sort of fantasy. You know what I mean? Like in, in terms of like, well, you know, actually, if I just did this and I just simply allowed everything to come, maybe I wouldn't have to, you know, we have all these excuses, but just know that action is always the best course to combat fear. And right now you can do this. You are building the st stability. You are building the foundation that you require, but keep moving forward. Keep learning new things. Whenever we become complacent, then what happens is we try to fill a void with food, drugs, alcohol, gambling, shopping, right? These are void fillers. It's not what makes us happy. There's times when those actions 
you know, are appropriate. Like there's a time and a place for everything, but not to fill a void. You know what I mean? And we know what that energy feels like when we're not feeling happy and then we reach for something, right? So just know that that reaching for something is always a book or is always a mentor or is deciding to learn something new, wherever that may come for you. That may even become from YouTube. I love YouTube. YouTube's incredible. All of the experience you learn from YouTube, from, from individuals that have gone through this game of life and have the experience, that is amazing, right? So jump on there and learn something new and just know that's going to give you the the energy and the adventure and the sense of self that it is that you need right now in terms of just that ign ign ignition ign igniting your spirit you know what I mean that's going to ignite your spirit because the thing is is that again you attract your desires to you by the energy and the vibration that you emit off to the universe. And if at any point we are feeling complacent or we are feeling bored or we are feeling stuck or we are feeling like we are almost in a betraying ourselves or feeling kind of deceited in some way, know that action is always the best. And learning something new, you know what I mean? Really learning something new always evolves us and always gives us that opportunity to heal, to better ourselves. And again, we attract our desires to us so we can't sit and wait for them to happen we have to take action on them and this action has to come from a place of uh, learning new things, marinating it with the experience we already have and constantly growing and constantly evolving. Like for instance, for me, I will read a book. I will take some notes. After I take those notes, I will come back to it the next day or later that day and I will reread my notes and then I will take X spare notes on what my experiences are paired with the knowledge I have. So it's really imprinted. You know what I mean? Not just reading a book and thinking, oh, that's great. Really, again, diving deep into it and again, making sure that it resonates with you in a way that you understand it just by simply, again, taking those notes and really pairing it with the experiences you've had in your own life so that you can start to really understand, right? And again, a great area to learn right now for you, Cancer, learn the law of attraction, right? The more we know about how this game works, because it's like, we didn't write the rules, right, Cancer? We didn't write them. There's rules. It's like when you play chess, there's rules in the chess game, you just abide by them. There's rules to this, this, this earth life. And the more that we can start to learn the rules, the easier life and the better Better our life gets and that's truly when we really have the magic flow through us because when we are in alignment when we're learning new things when we're understanding how things work because the thing is an understanding brings us confidence it's a like empath love structure we like schedules that's why change is really scary for us so it's almost like set up a structure and set up a way so that you feel successful in your life. You're, you're establishing success in every area you would like to um, work on. For instance, like for me, I, I, every day I will always read a book, read some of a book. I will always exercise. I will always meditate. I will always talk with my guides and angels in the form of a journal. And I was always, always film. That's five things I always do because those are pillars of my life that I always want to be expanding because wherever we put energy into is what's going to manifest. So what is it that you want to achieve in your life make sure you flow energy into that area of life and just let the process go you know what I mean again we expect things to happen overnight but the thing is they just don't it's a process and the more consistent we are with what it is that we're doing and what we want to evolve the more fulfilled we're going to feel because again it is the journey my guides just said to me that, that last night the 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 process is not short but it is fulfilling oh that's lovely so just know that it's such a fulfilling journey it's the journey that really is the rewarding part right not the end manifestation once we get to the end manifestation we always want what's next right and so just know it's truly the journey that gets you there and the more that we can understand the more that we can reclaim our power back and literally just put again that energy and, in, and that control into what you can ask yourself cancer whenever something happens in your life ask yourself can i change it right if you to ask yourself can i change it you take your power back because you either can change it or you can change it and if you can't change it then you give yourself five minutes to whine about it, complain about it, cry about it, and then let it go. That's it. Like, oh man, okay, set your timer, five minutes. Okay, done. Not even like one minute, right? Because really you don't need much. It's like really for me, whenever this happens, whenever something happens, I ask myself, can I change it? And if I know that I can't, immediately I let it go. Because it's like, what's the point, right? What's the point of self-sabotage? What's the point of bringing yourself into that? But again, if it's something that you feel better doing, do it and then let it be. At least give yourself that, honor your emotions and give yourself that time to mourn if that's the case. But then after that, but if you can change it, right? If you don't not happy with your life and you can change it, that that's when change needs to be implemented. Write out a list, right? That's the best way. Get it out on paper. Grab that journal and get it out on paper. Because whenever we write things down, it's like, oh, 
release. And that's why journaling is very nice for us too, because it's just an energy release because it's like, we get out all of our thoughts. We get out all of our energy and we have things on paper. We can reread it. We can revisit it. We can re, uh, you know, go over it. And it just, it, it make it feels much more easy and effortless for us to be able to progress on our journey. All right, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was like share and subscribe, I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cancer. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.